And so Patricia and I would like to share some very essential insights, guidelines, if you will, for the continuing journey. How does this journey take you forward? What do you need to know? And this is presented in the revelation, the gift of a new life in the new message. In fact, there are many, many revelations, resources for you to help guide you and steer you as you navigate this experience of the journey. Okay. So we're not going to explain these a whole lot. We're going to leave them with you and let you be with these statements and see what comes up for you. Do not try to define the change. Do not add definition to the essential experience yet. Let this be a mystery. Let this be a mystery. For you, it will be a mystery. So let it be that. Let confusion exist. Because the mind will be confused. Most certainly for a period of time. As it integrates this new change in direction. You're in transition. You're building a bridge to new life. Yeah, the ship is turning in the water. And as it turns, it slows down. It's very important. Leave your future open. You do not know where this new direction will take you. And the direction will change over time, too. So you're journeying. You're not arriving. You're journeying now. Seek quiet more than stimulation. You need to listen. Spend time alone because you need to feel the greater forces and influences within you that are triggering this movement. Too much outer contact can cloud and obstruct that. Gather your resources and conserve your energy. Very important. Very important. Know that you cannot take an old life into a new life. This is perhaps one of the most common impulses is to take the familiar and the cherished from the old life into the new. This new life is in no way connected to your old life. Not necessarily.
Exercise discernment and restraint. Do not contend with others. You know, do not argue the issues. Yeah. Take time to be with the presence of knowledge. Don't let this presence be a fleeting experience in the background of your awareness. Bring your awareness to it actively. Be a recipient. Pull yourself in. Take the time it takes for this great emergence to occur. And as you allow yourself to receive, be patient. Be patient, because this is not on a quick timeline. This is the emergence of your life, your greater life, that will take you to the end of this life in, in the world. So it's going to take time for things to align correctly, for others to come into position. And it takes time to integrate the awareness of knowledge into your mind. So do be patient. And if you feel inclined, study the pathway the new message has provided. Mm -hmm. This is an enormous revelation, admittedly, but it is full, full of wisdoms and tools that can help you. So consider going there at newmessage.org. Mm -hmm.